Okay, let's uh, create some plan sheets with the plan and profile generator. Okay, I have my files open. Uh, the first thing I want to do is turn off the station lock. So I'll go to Tools, Locks, Station, turn that off. And then let's go to Drafting, Plan and Profile Generator, and that opens up the generator. Okay, on the main tab, uh, we're only going to create plan sheets for right now. So we're going to select the Plan Only option. Um, under Plan Views, we're going to use specific station limits. So I'm going to use Use Station Limits. Uh, down here we're going to enable the generate sheets because we want to actually create the sheets and I'm going to use the view definition file information and host files that creates files and we can pull those up later horizontal alignment choose your alignment uh, station limits uh, 35550 and the length, I'm using a um, 24 by 36 inch sheet, so it's 3 feet wide, and I'm going to use a 50 scale so I can fit about 1500 feet worth of alignment on each sheet. So let's say 1300 for a little overlap and whatnot. And so once those settings are set, the next tab is the plan controls tab and seed view name, we'll just name it plan view um, width left and right, this is how much uh, view to the left and right of your alignment you want to show, uh, let's go with 300 uh, overlap, that's how much overlap from one sheet to the next boundary cords, that has to do with the clipping boundary, we're not going to worry about that nested attachments, we want to enable this so so our uh, reference attachments get uh, get imported and then I want to come up here to the model files and I'm going to choose my two DGN files that I need my ground file uh, that's a reference file and then my my actual project file I'll click open and I like to select those just to make sure they're selected the next tab is the profile controls. Uh, for right now, we're only creating plan sheets, so we'll skip that tab for right now. Let's come over to the sheet layout tab and sheet number. We'll start with sheet number one, so we'll just name that. We'll just put a one in there. And name, we'll just call it plan one. Uh, seed host file. Um, this is just a seed file that is going to be used to create your sheet files. So I'll navigate to that, Inroads, Plan and Profile, Seed, I'll open that. Um, down here in Sheet Location, uh, Layout Along Alignment, or Layout in Grid. Uh, this the Sheet Location, and up here where it says Host File Content, they sort of work in unison. Okay, if you look here, I'm going to select Layout Along Alignment, and single sheet each, that's going to create a separate sheet file for each sheet. Now if I select all sheets in one, all the sheet views will be in one single uh, sheet file. And you see the little uh, preview down here, that's what they'll look like. Go back to single sheet. Uh, if you go in a grid mode, and I'll select all sheets in one, that'll lay them out in a grid and this is the, uh, you can set the spacing right here, for example, right to left there's a hundred units from the right side of one sheet to the left side of the other likewise there's a hundred units from the top of one sheet to the bottom um, you know, left to left and you have a certain spacing there, if you use that option you have to be cognizant of the size of your sheets, uh, likewise bottom to bottom you can space them um, I like to use right to left and top to bottom. That's the easiest to lay them out uh, if you use the grid layout. Uh, we're going to use the layout along alignment and we're going to create separate files for each one. So we'll select that. Uh, round to nearest, this is just um, the precision of that your uh, sheet files are rotated to. Um, to match up with your view. Um, 
round to the nearest degree, that's fine. Um, edit symbology, that's self-explanatory. Clipping boundary, we're not going to bother with that. So with these settings set, uh, host file, we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, view layout, let's click on view layout. This is where we'll set our, sc our scale. Uh, we'll go with a 50 scale. And this is where our alignment will be inserted. So I'm going to go two and a half feet from the left of the, uh, or well, two and a half inches from the left of the um, sheet edge and 12 inches up. So that's pretty much right in the middle. Um, the insertion point, point is just the beginning of your alignment, the beginning station of your alignment. Uh, 50 scale. When we get those set, let's come over to our border and title tab. And if your border is a cell, you can select that. Uh, we're going to use a reference file. I'll click my cursor in there. I'll browse and I'm going to open up my reference file and my title block data file. Click my cursor in there and I'm going to browse and I'm going to open up my title block data. I'll open that and what that is is let me uh, switch over to our title block and when you create your title block what you do is you create some enter data fields for your various uh, fields you want to fill in project number, scale, sheet number um, create enter data fields and then you create a tag set with a certain name and not to go into too much detail but when you when you run the plan and profile generator what inroads does is it scans your sheet model for that particular tag set attached to those enter data fields and it correlates it to this dot uh, dat file and this has your information uh, project name project number um, sheet numbers, total sheets, and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and close that. Um, your scale, you want to set this uh, the same as we did on the view layout tab. 50. 50. Uh, you can uh, sheet level, give that a name, your new level that your sheets will be on. And once we have those set, let's come over to our symbols and details and in here we'll choose uh, north arrow uh, let's see where's our north arrow at uh, let's see did I miss it no okay there it is north arrow and in order to attach this uh, you have to have a cell library attached to your uh, seed host file which is whoop, sheet layout which is this one here that we opened up earlier. Uh, the cell library containing this cell, in this case a north arrow, has to be attached to that seed host file. And that's the symbols and details tab. Uh, location and paper units, that's the insertion point of the cell, uh, just where you created the origin of your cell um, when you created the cell. Uh, you can attach another cell right there if you want, you know, maybe a legend or a scale or something. Uh, symbols and details. Uh, next, we'll go to the match lines tab. Uh, 